Hey everyone, it's Kelly. It's um, P3, two pounds below LDW, and everything's going good. I had yesterday, I had Parker's um, makes me smile a lobster because it was so good. I, it just makes me smile when I say it because it was delicious. Thank you so much for sharing that with everyone, Parker. That, that was really a treat from my husband and I, and I'm sure everyone else that had it. Um, also, I had these, um, I made chocolate delight, and I stuck these cherries, the frozen cherries, and I let them thaw a little bit, and they don't have a pit in them or anything, they're like the dark cherries, like, like that, outside the camera like an idiot. Um, <laughs> the dark cherries, and I just coated them with the chocolate delight while it was melted, and it was just, I put it in the freezer for a little bit. And it was so good. I felt like I was in heaven. It was delicious. And um, I'm making today, I'm making cheeseburgers. But the cheese is instead of outside the burger, it's inside the burger. Since I can't have a bun, I like to stuff my burgers inside in the center with cheese. And this time I'm having the uh, four cheese Mexican. And I also slice up um, some jalapenos. And that's in the center. So it's an ooey gooey center with jalapenos. And I'm probably going to have it on top of some greens and a little bit of tomato and avocado. And I just, I love that burger. I usually have it with <clears throat> food born um, bread. <laughs> and, um, but I'm not, I don't think I'm, I don't know, unless I like the, um, the, the other breads that we can have, I'm usually not really into those kind of breads, but I'm going to try some, and like the coconut, um, paleo one, and um, I'll try that, or the Ezekiel bread later. I'll see if I like any of those, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, another thing about Chocolate Delight, I use the, um, I just got Jaro, um, and I used to use Spectrum. I only made, use bought two um, coconut oils, but I put my chocolate delight two times and I made it really good, but it's very um, coconut oily, very oily, and if I put more um, cocoa powder in it, then it's too bitter, and I also add in cinnamon, uh, vanilla, um, truvia, and cayenne, a little cayenne, not that much. And um, what else did I put in there? But I, I, what else I do is I um, I use the sifter and I sift all the dry ingredients as well, so there's no hard uh, cocoa that gets stuck in there to make it bitter. But it's still, unless I do it this way, it's bitter. So, but it's too. Now I find it's too oily. So if anybody knows of a good cocoa nut powder to put in there, I use. I'm currently using the Hershey's, and if anyone, it's the regular Hershey's, not the dark, the regular one, unsweetened of course. But if anybody has a good suggestion on um, cocoa powder, I'm open to it. And I don't use stevia. I don't like it, so um, that's out. And that's it. So I just want to say hi and check in, and I hope all is well with everybody, and see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, I'll watch you guys tonight, too. I usually watch you guys before I go to sleep. All right, bye-bye.